what did you think of Benji when you first met him? Really shy. What was your major and what do you do for a living? Hello, my name is Benji and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So while I do the q and I'm going to be making this Lego flower set that I bought a week ago or so. I thought it'd be fun to watch me doing something while I'm just talking. Also, I got a new camera. I don't know if you can tell, but hopefully the quality of video and also the audio quality is a little bit better. But like, oh my God, this is like so close. But yeah, I think the quality looks pretty good. So I had you guys send me questions on Instagram. The first question that I received and the most common question I feel like I get asked is some variation of how did you and Chris meet or how long have you been together or just like general relationship questions. If you guys don't know, Chris is the redhead that's in a lot of my videos. He and I have been dating for about four years now. It's gonna be four years in October. This answer might be a little bit long, so you can skip to the other questions if you want. I'm going to start from the beginning and get to where we are right now. Chris and I met in college, so that was back in 2017. We were actually roommates together, just like that video that everyone always says. I don't remember how it goes, it's like, they were roommates, something like that. And they were roommates. God, they were roommates. So we both went to UC Santa Cruz. That's a school in California. Chris is originally from Florida. We actually started talking before we became roommates. So we weren't roommates randomly. But what happened was there was this app that they had all of the freshmen download. I forget what it was called, but it was kind of like a social media page for the incoming freshmen. Everyone sort of had their own profiles that had like their major and what dorms they were gonna be in. So what I did was I put a filter through the class rosters so it would show environmental studies students and people that were in my own dorm. I was an environmental studies major and so was Chris. So I was just talking to some people and I added them on like Twitter and Instagram and stuff, but Chris was the one I like connected with the most. We got along really well and we had like matching personalities and similar humor. We probably talked like a month, no, maybe like three. We started talking like three months before we actually moved into school. So we just became like close online friends. And so I asked him, I was just like, hey, would you want to be roommates with me? And he said yes. So fast forward, we move into our dorms, we're roommates and we're really good friends and we just like hang out all the time. And then after about two months or so, Chris asked me out on a date to see the movie It. Wait, what did he say? He was like, uh, do you want to go see a movie with me? And then I was like, okay, sure. And I don't really like scary movies, so I was kind of hesitant, um, but I agreed to go. A few minutes after, he asked if I wanted to make it a date. And then I said yes, so that was our first date. We went to go watch it, and then we had lunch afterwards. And then I think like two weeks later, I asked if he wanted to be exclusive, and he said yes. Also, Chris is my first relationship. He's dated other people before, but I haven't, so... Yeah, my first relationship and it's been four years. So. Oh, also, I finished, wait, I finished the first flower. Looks pretty cool. It actually worked out pretty well. Like you would think that there might be a lot of drama with like dating your roommate, but it turned out very well for us. So then after that, we also roomed together in our second year of college with our friends. And then after that, we studied abroad in our third year of college together in South Korea. And that was, like some of the most fun I think I've ever had in my life. And then after that, we moved into my previous house, the one before this one, and now we are here. So that's pretty much like a short recap from my perspective um, about like how we met and stuff. Okay, oh. I have the second flower done. So the next question is how old are you and what is your zodiac sign? So I'm 22 and I'm a Gemini. How are you transitioning to LA? So I moved to LA mostly because I wanted to be in a city in my early 20s and I wanted to stay in California. So that was either San Francisco or Los Angeles, but I didn't really want to go to SF because it's super cloudy there all the time. And um, it's really far away from my family and a lot of my friends. So I went to LA. Being in LA, I'm trying to like push myself to go out and do more things and also hang out with new people. I would say that I'm generally a pretty shy person. It takes a while for me to get comfortable and I think I'm really good at keeping friends, but I'm not great at creating new 
relationships, but the relationships I do have, I feel are pretty strong. Like in Santa Cruz, I really didn't make very many friends. And I think that's because I sort of felt like I didn't need any more, so I would never work on new relationships. But I feel like that's something I want to change just to be able to experience new things. I feel like I have to meet new people and sort of gain from their perspective, which I feel is really important in LA because there are just like so many people here from different backgrounds that I think I can learn a lot from. What ethnicity are you and do you speak your language? So I am Vietnamese. I do not speak Vietnamese, unfortunately but I'm really trying to learn. I absolutely love Vietnam. I've been there twice. I have a lot of family there. I really want to go back, but I can't because COVID is really bad there right now. If you're watching from Vietnam, I hope you are staying safe. What was your social media journey like and how do you feel about having a lot of followers? Oh, also I got this purple one done. So before I started being active like this on social media, I never really posted. On my personal account, I would post maybe like once every two months. I would never tweet. Um, I never made TikToks. It's kind of like a weird transition going from that to this, where now I'm speaking to all of you and like anyone can watch me. But yeah, I don't know. It's really cool that I can reach so many people, but it's also kind of strange from going from only the people you know, seeing you and like perceiving you and sort of watching what you do to thousands of people watching me and creating their own perceptions about me. I'm not saying like negative opinions about me, but just like opinions and perception in any form. It's kind of strange just to think that there's like that many people looking at me, um, you know? What would you call your aesthetic and who is your inspiration? So I'm not really sure what I would call my aesthetic. I feel like I could describe it better in like keywords. Airy, lots of plants, wood, warm, sunlight, stuff. You know, like just those kind of keywords. I don't really know the names of styles, so I am not sure. But I definitely do take a lot of inspiration from like Japanese designs or like Korean interiors. I think Japan does a really good job at integrating plants into home spaces. So like house plants and aquariums and stuff like that. I would say that my inspiration for my aesthetic probably comes from a lot of places. I don't think I could say one person or like one thing. Lately, I've been getting a lot of like Korean home interiors on my Instagram explore page that I feel like I'm kind of trying to lean more towards that. Um, I'll put up some pictures so you guys can see. Here is my first flower. It looks pretty cool. I really like the colors. I am going to put it in this vase and set it right here. What other hobbies and interests do you have? So when I was younger, I used to do a lot more art. So like drawing and oil painting. I think I want to get back into painting. Other than that, I also play video games. I play League of Legends right now, but I used to play Overwatch and World of Warcraft, which is like the super nerdy game, but I played it from the age of seven to like 16. I also really like design, designing with plants and like interiors and also graphic design type stuff. I just think that's super interesting, especially now with like social media and how important pictures are. I think design is such an important thing to sort of learn. And I think that design can be applied to pretty much any category of life. Other than that, I really want to get into ceramics. I feel like making my own ceramics for my pots would just be like super, super cool. So right now I'm looking into finding a ceramic studio or something where I can learn. So if you are in the LA area and you know a place where I can go, please let me know. What was your major and what do you do for a living? I just graduated um, this past June with an environmental studies bachelor's degree from UC Santa Cruz. I did a lot of internships. What did I do? I did an internship where I tracked rodents. Like I would um, set up cages and then write down the data for like where the rodents are located and what species. I also did an internship at my school's arboretum and then I also interned at a governor's office in my third year and then in my fourth year of college I did a fellowship where I studied sustainable aquaponics so I mostly covered like sustainable fish feed. I wrote a senior thesis on sustainable 
fish food for aquaponics. And yeah, that was really cool. I got to work in an aquaculture lab. I got to work with a lot of fish. That was probably one of my favorite things I did in my undergrad. Also, the purple flower is complete. So the fellowship that I did in my fourth year was a paid fellowship. So I made a pretty decent amount of money from doing that and I've just been saving it. So right now I'm receiving income from social media. So I make money from YouTube ads and like Instagram sponsorships and TikTok sponsorships. I also have my Etsy shop that I make some money off of. I'm kind of treating this as my gap year. I just graduated fairly recently. So I'm taking this time to figure out what I want to do. I'm trying to find out if this is sustainable for me and if YouTube and and social media in general is something that I want to do. So far, I really enjoy it. When I was younger, I always wanted to be an artist and then I wanted to be a marine biologist. So I feel like what I'm doing here is sort of exactly what I wanted to do, like something creative that has to do with plants or nature. So yeah, I'm really grateful that I'm able to do this and take care of my plants and make money from it. And that's like seriously super crazy to me. So yeah, that is my current job. But if I were to get like a nine to five job, I'd probably get something related to environmental studies or maybe aquaculture or aquaponics or maybe go back for my master's degree in something. I don't know. I am quite an indecisive person in general and I always change what I want to do and what my interests are, so. We shall see. Another thing that I really like about what I'm doing right now is some comments are like, your video made my day, or it made me feel better, or like this video really calmed me down. And it feels like pretty fulfilling to be able to provide that for people. And I knew that from a young age, I always wanted to do something that I would feel fulfilled by. And right now I do feel fulfilled by doing this. So yeah. Okay, and the last question about me is, what are your life goals? I don't really know. Going back to what I said, I feel like my interests are just always changing and I always find new things that I want to do. But I think one of my main goals, like aside from career, is to be able to assist my parents financially. My parents work all the time. They have such a good work ethic and I know they're tired, like they're just tired of working. When I was younger, I feel like I didn't have enough perspective, like I knew that they worked really hard, but at the time I didn't realize that they were working for me to financially support me and my interests. Like when I was younger, I did everything. Like I did violin, swimming lessons, dance lessons, soccer, like so many things that they paid for that they didn't need to pay for. So yeah, they definitely sacrificed a lot for me and my brothers. And I really just want to help them out and let them retire and move to a beautiful beach city. But career-wise, maybe make my own business where I do plant design type stuff I think would be super cool. But I don't really know how that would work, what steps I would need to take for that. I also just really want to travel. I want to see other countries and experience new things. I feel like you get a lot of that from traveling. Hopefully, you know, the pandemic is over. But yeah, I really like this Lego set. It's really pretty and it was only around 12 US dollars, I think. It's pretty cool. Let me give you guys a close up. Okay, so now I'm gonna answer the plant questions, but Chris wanted to say hi. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna answer some questions? Me? Yeah. This question asked, what does Chris think of all the plants? Fan? Question mark? Like, are you a fan? And what are the cons? I'm a fan, I like them. I think it makes the room look really nice. Um, I think there are some cons though, just when, you know, sometimes they're like in the middle of the walkway <laughs> or they're just like, let's say Benji was watering them and then it's just like left in the shower <laughs> or just <laughs> things like that. But I mean, it really adds to the room and to the space and it's something that he takes care of that, you know, I don't have to take care of so it's obviously really nice for me it's a win-win because i get the 
gets the vibe without get the, the work. Vibe without, <laughs> without the, the work. Without the, without the work. <laughs> Who is your favorite drag queen? We both really like Alyssa Edwards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like Heidi in Closet. Oh yeah, Heidi is really cool. Honestly, maybe Gia Gun. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> I think my favorite like entertaining drag queen would have to be Gia Gun. I just think she's so funny. Like she has so many funny moments on Drag Race. What is Chris's job? I work in HR. I'm an HR associate for this company that works with charter schools. So I basically hire teachers. I fire teachers. Not like I don't like fire them like you're fired. Like they normally resign and I fire them in the system. And I just do a lot of like emails and paperwork. Okay, this one's funny. What did you think of Benji when you first met him? So in person. I thought you were really quiet, really shy. I thought you were really artistic. I was intimidated because I was from Florida originally, so everyone to me was like these cool like California <laughs> people. People, but That's so funny. Like it's not that serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's Chris's favorite thing about you? I have to say it's the the humor. I don't you guys don't get a lot of this on YouTube or on TikTok as much. <laughs> but Benji has a very funny sense of humor and he's always <laughs> trolling around so i'd have to say it's just his, his antics and then the same person asked what is your favorite thing about chris <laughs> my favorite thing i think is that he is really gentle and like sweet especially when it comes to like living things that aren't humans like one time there was a fungus gnat that was just flying around and I killed it. And then I was like, look, Chris, I got it. And then he was like, no, don't show me that. <laughs> it's like, it's a fly. I don't know, it's just like a smashed bug body. Like, I know, but they're so hand. small, they're so tiny. But yeah, just very sweet. Not a question, but please introduce us better to Chris. My name's Chris, short for Christopher. I'm from Florida. I like video games. I've been playing Wizard 101 since I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cancer. I'm a cancer. I have seven half siblings. Also a Hufflepuff. I'm also a Hufflepuff. And I'm INTP. Oh, I'm INFP, so it's cooler than his. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get to the plant questions. How to kill these annoying flies. So you are probably talking about fungus gnats and what I found to work the best and what I've recommended to people that works is a product called Bonite Systemic Insecticide Granules and that just works very well. How do you start growing your own moss? Um, so I'm going to be making a YouTube video about that soon. The only thing is that it takes a while for the moss to grow, so it'll probably take me like a month to put out the video because I want to like show you guys the progress that it makes. I don't want to make two parts. But if you check my highlights on my Instagram, I have the highlights for live moss and you can see some of the information that I put there. Which plant has the most sentimental value? So I think it would be this plant. It is an alocasia poly. It's like a very basic plant. You can find it pretty much anywhere, but this one my dad gave to me when I moved into my apartment in college. So it's also very pretty and I think very underrated. What was your first plant? My first plant was a golden pothos. How do you keep your space looking so open with so many plants? Something that I realized after just like having so many plants and having my space feel like so congested because of it, I got rid of a lot of the plants that I just didn't really value and I kept all the ones that I really loved. That way I can appreciate them more because I feel like when you have so many plants, you don't really have the time to, to really be excited about like new leaves and new growth. I think now that I have less plants, I'm able to put more energy into each plant that I have. But in terms of like the way I keep it looking fairly open, I try and make it so each plant looks like they belong there. Um, I try and group different sizes together. I also don't put them too close, and I also have sort of started to avoid really bushy, dense foliage plants because they just take up so much like visual space. 
and when something is so like dense and bushy you can't really see its shape and i think that the shape the plant creates is a really important aspect of the plant's look and its aesthetics. Where do you buy your pots? So I buy a lot of my pots from my local nurseries, but also online. One of my favorite brands is Hisami Porcelain. A lot of my plants are potted in those pots. This is an example of a pot that I got from my local nursery. And then this is a Hisami porcelain pot. I really love the texture and the shape and like how sleek it is. Favorite plant store in LA area. There's this one plant store that I went to recently. It's not really like a plant store because I don't think they really sell to like basic people like me. They do more big things like showrooms, realty, Hollywood stuff. Um, magazine shoots. I believe it's called Tropical Co. They had the most beautiful display and the greenhouse was so beautiful. Like they really do focus on the aesthetics of each plant or each pot of plants and all the plants were so old and displayed so interestingly. I think that if you're ever in the LA area you have to go. What tips do you recommend to get started in the plant hobby? I think this will be my last question but I would say to just like really try and avoid other people's opinions of plants like as best as you can just get the plants that you really love and don't just get it because like everyone else has it even though that kind of sounds dumb because like it's just plants also I would say to not overwhelm yourself I think when you first start getting into plants it's so easy to get as many as you can and go plant shopping every single day. I know it's happened to the majority of us, but really try to ease yourself into it. You'll kill less plants that way and you won't burn out as quickly. Um, I think a lot of people in quarantine went a little bit crazy with the plant buying and then overwhelmed themselves and then got rid of a bunch of plants or just stopped being into plants. I personally got rid of a lot of my plants during my move and that is probably the best thing that's ever happened to me plant related. I just feel so much more appreciative of what I have and my plants are all a lot healthier now because I have the time to take care of them. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed me rambling and talking about my goals and my life and um, plants and I will see you in the next video. Bye.